In this video tutorial, we'll talk about probability. Now, before discussing this topic, let's quickly talk about chances because chances and probability are connected to each other. Now, to understand this, we take two examples. The first example is whether it will rain or not. So it's a rainy season and you do not know whether it's going to rain today or not. So there can be two outcomes. It can rain and it, it might rain or it might not, right? So the two outcomes, but the chances are not equal. Can you tell, is there any way to tell the chance of raining and the chance of not raining is equal? No. So what happens for eight consecutive days, you carry umbrella with you, but it doesn't rain. So on the ninth day, you decide that, okay, let me not carry the umbrella today. So what happens on the ninth day, it rains. So clearly it is all about the chance. Okay. You cannot say for sure whether it will rain or not. So it's about chance. The second example is questions asked in the unit test. So it's the unit test for the subject mathematics. And your teacher tells you that the questions will be asked from four chapters, starting from chapter one and up to chapter four. So chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, you study these three chapters very properly. Okay. And you decide that, okay, let me leave this one. I'll manage from these three chapters. Okay, so you take a chance. On the test day, what happens when you look at, uh, when you look at the questions, then the majority of questions come from this chapter. The majority of questions come, comes from this chapter. Now you are confused what to do. So again, the chances, whether the majority of questions will come from one or from two or from three, or from four are not equal. You cannot say for sure that the, the chance of uh, questions coming from one, from two, from three, from four will be equal. You cannot say. So this is about chances, right? The outcomes do not have the same or equal likelihood. Okay. This is the basic difference between when we talk about chances and we talk about, when we talk about probability. In probability, things are a little different. Now, let me discuss these five points related to probability one by one. Okay. The first point is a random experiment. Okay, this video is going to be a little longer. Please bear with me, but it's really very really important to understand these five points properly. Okay, these are the very basic things about probability. The first point is a random experiment. So what I do is we take first experiment as tossing a coin. Now, when you toss a coin, either you'll get head or you'll get tail, right? There are two faces of the coin of a coin and the coin has either you'll get head or tail when you toss it. So if I ask you that toss and tell me what is the chances of getting uh, or the likelihood of getting head? This is what we call it a random experiment. You are performing a random experiment of tossing a coin. Okay. Another example can be throwing a die. When you throw a die, a die has six faces. It has six faces. And each of these are actually six faces of a die. Very rough diagram. So not very accurate. One, two, three, four, five, and six, right? If you throw a die, either you can get one, the phase one, the phase two, the phase three, the phase four, or the phase five, or the phase six. Again, throwing a die is a random experiment that you're performing. Then comes outcomes. And here is a point that we have mentioned uh, after outcomes. That is, each of the outcomes has an equal chance of occurring. Now, each of the outcomes, outcomes has the equal chance of occurring and the probability that is likelihood. These two topics will discuss with each other. 
First, let's talk about outcomes. So in our two random experiments, that is the first one is tossing a coin. Tell me, what are the two outcomes? You will say the two outcomes will be either this one, that is you get the head or this one, that is you get the tail. So you have total two outcomes. You have two outcomes. Right? Head and tail. So this is outcome one and this is outcome two. Okay. In this one, you have six outcomes. Whether either you can get this phase one, this is outcome two, this is outcome three, this is outcome four, this is outcome five, and this is outcome six. So you have total, total six outcomes. This is Right? Okay. Now, we have to talk about each of the outcomes has an equal chance of occurring or the probability as we said that these are actually related to each other. Okay. Let's take for this one. So you perform a random experiment and you toss the coin. When you toss the coin, you ask your friend to make the call. Your friend makes the call that is the head. Okay, so when your friend sees the head, then the likelihood of, you know, getting head, likelihood of getting head, likelihood of getting the head, likelihood of getting the head is actually what you're talking about probability of getting the head of getting the head okay so the likelihood of getting the head will be tell me this is outcome one right so this will be one out of total two outcomes likelihood of getting the head or the probability of getting the head is actually one out of total two outcomes. In the same way, if we ask that what will be the likelihood of getting the tail, so the likelihood of getting the tail or the probability of getting the tail even in this case will be one because there is only one outcome that is related to tail out of total two outcomes out of total two outcomes so likelihood of getting the head or the probability of getting the head and the likelihood of getting the tail and the probability of getting the tail if you look at them properly then this is actually these two are actually equal and that is what we have said here each of the outcomes has the equal chance of occurring and that is the difference between chances and the probability that when we talk about probability in mathematics in, in when we were discussing about chances you the outcomes do not have the equal chance of occurring but in the case of probability you can clearly see here the likelihood of getting the head or the uh, head and tail is actually equal so the each of the outcomes has an equal chance of occurring okay we'll discuss more about it very shortly please bear with me let's discuss the same thing in the uh, in this random experiment where you throw a die so when you throw a die if i ask you that what is if it is asked to you that's what's the likelihood what's the likelihood or the probability of getting of getting one so you will say that there's only one outcome when you'll get one there's only one outcome right so one 
out of total six outcomes, this is the likelihood of probability of getting one. Now again, what's the likelihood or the probability of getting two? So there's only one outcome that gives you two. There's only one outcome that gives you two. So one total out of total six outcomes gives you this two. In the same way, if we talk about three, that's what's the likelihood or the probability of getting three? This again, there's only one outcome that is related to this phase three. So you again, it is one out of six. Same thing for four. Same thing for five. And same thing for the probability of getting six. Again, the outcomes, the likelihood of each outcomes, each outcome is again the same. In this case, in the case of a die, it is one by six, right? That is what we have said here. Each of the outcomes has an equal chance of occurring. Okay, so here we talked about probability and and this point that is each of the outcomes has an equal chance of occurring. Now, this is very important one, equally likely outcomes. Okay, so some of you might say that, hey, you know what? I took a coin, okay, and I tossed it 10 times. And you know what, what I got? I got head, 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 then tail, then tail, but one, two, three, four, five, six, but then we got 7th as a head, 8th as a head, 9 as head and 10 as head. So you'll say that, hey, you said that when we talk about chances, then the likelihood of the outcomes is not equal in the case of chances, but in the case of uh, probability, it's equal. But when I'm tossing the head uh, uh, coin, I have got 8 times head and 2 times tail. So how can you say that the likelihood is actually the same? Here you have written this, this can be in the form of a formula, from a formula, but how come my experiment doesn't show this? And the same thing for this one. Some of you might say that, hey, you know, I threw a dice and what, why, what I observed out of 10 throws that I got this outcome that is one, I got this seven times. And for two, I got two times. And for six, I got uh, one time, but for the rest, it was zero. So how can you say that, uh, that the each of the outcomes has an equal chance of occurring? Exactly, a very good point. You know what, do one thing. You go on tossing this coin 100 times, 200 times, 300 times, more and more. So as you increase your, you know, tossing more and more, the these two outcomes, the number of, uh, you know, times you get this outcome one and the number of outcomes, a uh, number of times you get this outcome two, these two numbers will get closer and closer and closer and closer. That is, there will be a point or time when it will almost be, you know, equal. That is the number of times you get the head will be equal to the number of times you get the tail. Same thing for this one. You go on throwing a die, go on throwing, throwing 100 times, 200 times, 300, 400, 500 and so on and so forth. So in that case, the number of times you get one or two or three or four or five or six, these will come very close to each other. Okay, their number of times of their happening will be equal. Okay, that is why we say that equally likely outcomes and that is why it justifies that each of the outcomes has an equal chance of occurring. That is a probability of likelihood. Okay, last point is about event. So when we say that likelihood of getting the head, you're asking what, what's the probability of getting the head? This, focus on this one, getting the head. You are focusing on getting the head. In the next one, you focus on getting the tail, right? So this is actually one event you're talking about the event and this is another event. So in the case of coin, you have two events. 
either you can talk about the event of getting the head and you can talk about the event of getting the tail right in this one here you will have six events like it can have more also i'll show you how so when we when you talk about likelihood or the probability of getting one this is one event and for likelihood or probability of getting two this is another event okay so when we talk about of getting one this is one event of getting two it's another event same thing for three for four for five or for six okay so we we can clearly see that we have six events now tell me if i ask you what's the likelihood or probability of getting even number of getting even numbers when you throw a die so what's the probability of getting even number and this is very important point so focus here if i ask you ask you that the probab what's the probability what's the probability of getting of getting a an even number of getting a even number a even number now tell me what are the even numbers here 2 4 and 6 so 2 4 and 6 so how many outcomes make this event how many outcomes when we are talking about likelihood of getting one only so this is event right this is an event how many outcomes make this event we will say that there is only one outcome that makes this event same thing for two how many out outcomes make this event there is only one outcome that is this one that makes it makes this event but if i say that how many outcomes will make this event of getting a even number so we'll say that you can get either two or four or six right so in this case here it will be three outcomes out of total six outcomes why because we have total six outcomes three outcomes either you can get two this event gets satisfied you get four this event gets satisfied you get six this event gets satisfied so three outcomes make this event and so three out of six outcomes this is the probability of getting a even number that is your when you're talking about getting an even number this is another event right now you can ask for what's the likelihood or the probability of getting a an odd number of an odd number so this is we are talking about another event that's probability of getting an odd number so you can get either one or you can get three or you can get five so you get either of these one three or five then your event get satisfied so how many outcomes uh, will make this event happen there are three outcomes out of six total six outcomes that will make this event happen so what's the probability or likelihood three by six so this is about event right in this case we uh, we have seen here that we have now these six events we have two more eight events we can have more events more than that but the thing is that the basic concept of event should be clear okay so now we have discussed all these five points we discuss about chances we discuss about a random experiment we talk about outcomes probability equally likely outcomes and event this one was very important that's equally likely outcomes to show you that why probability is different from chances right when we talk about probability in mathematics the chances of each outcomes has the each of the outcomes has an equal chance of occurring